Howdy, fellas. It is the 10th of April. I am recording this way later in the afternoon. I actually managed to get more than three hours worth of sleep because of my uh, injury. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I haven't put up any videos. Um, I... Another one for the collection. I uh, had a really bad pain in my lower abdomen. Um, it started about the third or the fourth. And I just thought maybe it's just an icky tummy kind of thing. And it started getting worse and worse and worse. And by the fifth, it felt like someone was stabbing me in my lower gut. And with my younger brother's health problems, I automatically assumed the worst. So I called 111 because it was like 3 o'clock in the morning. My doctor's office was closed. It took them an hour to get someone to call me back for them to tell me, Oh, go to the hospital. Not, we've got an ambulance on its way, just go to the hospital. Okay. Fair enough. Now the old phrase is, uphill in the snow with a boner. Well, guess what? My hospital is up on a hill. And they want me to walk or get a vehicle. I, I was in so much pain I couldn't drive. I had to hobble. And I mean, literally, I was I, I was like the hunchback of Notre Dame. The bells, master, the bells. Yeah. I literally was just hobbling. And I eventually got to the hospital like 30 minutes later. And it was eight plus hours to be seen by an administration doctor. Do you understand that? Not the actual doctor, but a doctor that's going to diagnose what's wrong with you. Eight fucking hours. So I went, gave them my info. They said, take a seat. We'll call you for your, your blood pressure check, your tag, and to get any little more minor details. Okay, cool. Sat there. 45 minutes pass. An hour passes. Okay. And just when I'm about to get up and ask. Because while I was there, I watched five plus people who just wander in, speak to the administration nurse, and then they go right into the admin office to get seen. While there's patients, there was a guy, four seats from me, literally projectile vomiting, like he's in the poltergeist. And so, even he wasn't seen, poor bastard. And eventually he was seen as a dire emergency because blood was coming up, the poor bastard. I, I don't know... If he's alive or not, I hope you are. I hope God God blesses you. Um, but it was just like the fuck. And so. I eventually asked the nurse on mic, the, 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 the front desk nurse on mic, I haven't even had my consultation yet. I've been here an hour. And she's like, what? I'm like, I haven't had my consultation yet. It's been a fucking hour. I'm in agony. Please. So eventually she gets up. She goes around the desk to talk to the nurse. Apparently they had lost my file. And they were trying to find it. I'm like, it's right there on the computer. See that wonderful little screen with the keyboard right there that you're typing into? Just type in my first name, my last name. And, oh, oh fuck me, there it is. <laughs> Eventually they see me. She takes my blood pressure. She takes my temperature. My temperature is quote-unquote, slightly elevated. I 
And so, they're like, so, so what's going on? And I'm like, I have a huge fucking pain right here. And I showed her exactly where it was. And when I lifted up my shirt, there was a bulge. Let me say that again. There was a fucking bulge. Something was trying to crawl out of my body. Luckily for me, or oh, correction, unluckily for me, it was my appendix. Luckily for me, they recognized what was going on. And immediately she runs out the back, grabs a fucking nurse, uh, an actual proper, like, surgeon came in. She looks at it and she goes, yeah, that's not good. Literally, she's like, yeah, no, that's not good. And they run in, they jab my arm real quick, take some blood, and then they ask for a urine sample. Like, I can just whip it out right there and just, like, fucking fireman hose dick and just let her rip tater chip. So... I give them the blood sample. I eventually give them a urine sample. They lose it. I don't know how. It's on the same tray as the blood sample. But apparently, urine sample engages Klingon cloak and fucking disappears. And... Ugh. They start handing me cups of water. I am fucking in agony. I'm thinking, okay, so they're going to give me a, some painkillers to go with this water. Some pain, or something. No, just little tiny fucking cups of water. I'm like, I have a bladder the size of a fucking... A, 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 a type 7 nuclear submarine. This little tiny cup ain't going to do shit. And I've already, I've already released. And if you force me to release, you're flushing my system, which means anything that's in there... Hang on one second. And so, long story short, so, long story short, they rush me in. The surgeon looks at my blood tests that have literally just come back showing signs of an infection, but not as bad as they thought. So they're like, so why is his fucking appendix swelling up? I'm like, it's going to fucking burst, you twats. Get it out of me. And so this other doctor's like, I've got an idea. I'm like, fucking lay it on me, my man. So he comes back with a tray whips off this little sheet, and then there's like these fucking huge ass turkey baster sized fucking syringes. I was like, fuck your plan there, brother. Guess this stupid brown shit, you know, that they put on you before they, they cut you open kind of thing to, 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 to um, uh, sterilize the area. And so they literally just tell me to lay back, stab me with a needle the first time with some, some numbing agent in it or some shit. You know, like Novocaine or whatever. And then they take this needle and he fucking guides it right in. This guy's a gastroenterologist, so he knows what the fuck he's doing. He's a gastro doctor. So I was like, I, I, I trust you, bro. Slides it right and I could, granted, I couldn't feel the pinch, but I could feel it sliding. You know? And it went in and then he's like, hang on. And he's literally doing it by feel. He's like, like a I'm surprised his tongue wasn't dangling at one side, you know, like a fucking artist, like. And so, hits it, 
and he goes there it is and then he literally pulls out the plunger as he pulls it out it's literally looking like yellow custard and he leaves it and it just starts draining you know and i'm telling you now i did feel a lot of relief from the, the, the pressure pain of, of something inside your body just trying to crawl out i was like oh that actually does feel good and i'm literally just laying i'm i'm, I'm legit i'm sitting on the end of, end of this bed leaned over like this with this fucking cacking needle right in me yeah and it's just just pouring out gravity is just like pulling this shit out you know and he's like when it starts turning more pinker and he's explaining to me you know what's going on and he ends up getting a fucking cotton swab thingy and taking a sample of the infection he goes well, well, well we're gonna i'm gonna take a look at this and see what it is i was like please fucking do so i'm sitting there doing that and it stops it starts slowing down it starts turning more pinker more redder which means more more just blood And eventually they slide the needle out. And the guy says, don't worry, you're, you're going to be fine. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to bleed internally or anything, right? And he goes, no, 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 you should be fine. In fact, you're already starting to, to clot up because the infection's been pulled. Your immune system's hyperactive, which means your white platelets, your red platelets. And it was explaining to me how it would, would heal up really quickly. So I'm not like, right, cool. And he goes, no, you got to do is lay back. We'll come back to you in about an hour or so. Here's, and he gave me some seriously strong painkillers. And he gave me a generic antibiotic. I think it was amoxicillin. Was it moxie? It was, it was a generic antibiotic. I can't remember off the top of my head. So I'm laying there. Now bear in mind, I look at the window. And the fucking sun is up. I'm like, what time is it? And he goes, oh, it's... 5.30 in the morning, I'm due to my shift change in like 45 minutes. I was like, oh, cool. Bear in mind, I got there, okay, at 7 p.m. the day before. So I'm laying there, painkillers kicking. I'm a little tired, so I get a little bit of sleep. So I'm gonna answer this question real this message real quick. And so sorry, I'm getting to my foot here after this. So long story short pass out i wake up when the orderly is asking me what i want for lunch i'm like lunch what the fuck are you talking about and we've got chicken we, i was like I'll, I'll take some chicken so brings me your chicken that's way overcooked it's boiled the fucking pieces you touch it the thing falls apart uh, uh roast potatoes that are still somewhat lukewarm slash raw in the middle yet overcooked on the outside and those school cut cubed carrot stuff. I'm like, I've not had cubed carrot since I was a kid. Fucking hell. And um, so I did eat a little bit. But I've not, I, I had noticed throughout the time I was sick, my appetite had dropped to like nothing. And it still is at nothing. I still am I'm having a hard time forcing my, I have to force myself to eat. Um, and it's usually something minor like a small bowl of rice and some vegetables or, and maybe a little bit of protein in there somewhere. And um, so I did all of that. He, uh, now, there's been a staff change. Okay, do you understand that? There's been a staff change. And there's my phone going off. And
<laughs> Sorry, family group chat is going nuts. And <laughs> I'm holding like six comments. Anyway, point is, I finish trying to eat. Staff change. I look at the one of the doctors comes up to me and he's like, "How you doing, Mr. Monahan? How's your appendix?" I was like, "Still killing me, doc." Show it to him. Swelling has gone to like down to next to nothing. So that's amazing. And he's like, we've looked at your infection and these antibiotics, we've got the results back and these antibiotics should help you. We don't have to remove your appendix now. We could, but the point is the infection is still inside you, which means there's a chance it could hit in your bloodstream and sepsis, you're done. So it's sepsis either way. You know what I mean? I was like, oh great. So you've just handed me a fucking death sentence. I'm like, great. But they, I'm, I'm alive, obviously. So, being a bit over dramatic there. Anyway, point is, um, doctor said in about 20 minutes, we will get ready to discharge you and just take it easy with, uh, yeah, with core movements. You know, so, turn him back and forth real quick. I'm like, okay, thank you. Go to discharge myself. And, uh, it is now five o'clock in the afternoon, two days later. So I went in with my appendix about to kill me. Still have my bloody appendix. Thank you, buddy. Nice to have you along with the ride. But the fucking thing tried to kill me. Uh, so I was dealing with that. And to get over that, I... When I went home... I um, got home, found out that my kettle was broken, and it's going to be about two weeks until my landlord can get a new one. I'm like, two fucking weeks? Just go to Argos. Or Betty, my landlord has got this thing now where he has to build, bring the stuff. We're not allowed to use our own cookers, like our own um, electronics or anything, but the ones that we do have is like grandfathered, you know. So I'm like, all right, whatever. So my air fryer and whatnot, that's fine. I just can't replace them. Buy a replacement when they when they croak it. Which makes no fucking sense to me. Anyway, um, get home. Get into a bit of a Barney rubble with my now ex-girlfriend. Um, split up. And to get over... That I do what most guys do. I go to the gym and get my frustration out on the weights, on the free weights. And while I was there, um, my own stupid fault, I didn't secure one of the um, our gym. The gym I go to has like a locking system. It's not a screw in style. Uh, uh, um, to hold the weights in. It's got pre-drilled holes, and you push down the pin. Uh, sorry, you, uh, uh, yeah, you push down the pin. You push down the thing, you slide it across, and you let it go, and it, it, the pins shoot into the holes and lock it. Well, I didn't secure that. And it was my own stupid fault. I um, was doing bicep curls, so I'm sitting back here, you know, like this, and I'm doing a bicep curl, not paying attention. Now I decide to do a hammer curl. Now a hammer curl is different. Where's my free weight? Uh, ah, sod it. I'll just grab something to show you. There you go. Okay. Bicep curls is this way. Okay, the weights are in, so you're putting an even load on your arm. Hammer coil is this way, so the weight's down here and the weight's up here. Okay, one, you've got to be careful not to knock yourself in the face. But anyway, I was hammer coiling, like, hammer coiling like this, and I didn't notice all I heard was a click, and the lower weight just fell, and it landed right on my fucking left toe, my, my left big toe. Now, bear in mind, where's my gym shoes? I go to the gym in some really nice, I would say they're Reebok or Nike clones. Um, I got them from Amazon, I think I paid like 20 quid for them. Oh, here they are. 
I go to the gym in these. There is no padding whatsoever in these fuckers. And yes, you can tell I go to the gym a lot. There is no padding in those fuckers. None. So that way it went right on the big toe knuckle where, it meet, where it's attached to the foot. So the whole of my big toe is like, fucker, fucker, fuck you. If you know what I mean. So I'm now dealing with a very injured foot. I have a hairline fracture, which is the worst kind. A full break would mean I'd heal quicker. A hairline fracture is fucking agony. So I'm hobbling everywhere. Uh, and the more I walk, the more pain I'm in. Um, I've, I'm trying this stupid like numbing sprays and, and, and over-the-counter fucking ibuprofen and everything else. And oh. it's, it, it's, If it's not one thing, it's a fucking another. And I'm just like, why? You know, I'm like, for fuck's sake. So I've had those injuries dealing with. I've, I've, I've had a, 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 also a friend of mine, uh, I found out a friend of mine took their own life. Um, so that fucking sucks. That fed into my depression a bit. Still. What a fucking... The month's not even started yet. Oh, correction. The month has started, but we're only halfway into the month. It's only the 10th. And I've got to... I'm still moving ahead with the move, but because I broke up with my girlfriend, I'm choosing to go somewhere else on the breakup, because of the breakup. Um, first things first, don't ever move just for a person, okay? And I mean that. Don't ever move just for a person. Move because you think it's the right thing to do. Move because you feel that you are going to get more in life than anything else. And I mean that. Don't don't move because you know for 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 pussy or, or, or penis. Move because you want a better life. You know, uh, more job opportunities, things of that nature. I mean, here in Reading, yeah, I've got tons of job opportunities, but all of my family live up in Cambridge. You know, um, or or up further north, so like Newcastle, things of that nature. Uh, I've got a friend who's moving from the states, and he's so she's moving to scotland so that's not way further north than me and i'm like i couldn't be ha i could not be happier for them I, and i mean that i was like look you're doing it for one better job opportunities because she's full work visa everything else could not be fucking more proud of her just god has blessed you darling i'm proud of you i'm just tired of waiting for my blessings but then i stopped and i thought to myself you know what i have been blessed i just don't see the blessings yet for what they are I, I see, all I see is the hard times. I don't see the reasons why there is hard times. Does that make sense? Like, why, why is there always a storm? Because even trees realize that they need water to drink. They need the sun to see, they you know, to, to, to breathe. You know, things of that nature. And so, sometimes you've got to weather the storm. You've got to take the hits and keep moving forward. Just like Rocky says, you know. You've got to take the hits and keep moving forward. That's what how's winning is done, and yeah, and that even Mother Nature. Think about it, okay? How many times has Mother Nature, you know, caused a lightning strike to burn a bunch of dead trees, only for fresh baby trees to grow back? You know, so sometimes, yes, it's tragic. Yes, it's 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 a disaster, but sometimes, and this is how I, I how I'm trying to see life now, is. Don't focus on the tragedy, although it is a tragedy. Focus on how you're going to heal after it. Okay, focus on the after. Don't dwell on the past. Focus on the future. 
And that said, I am picking. I've picked up a new uh, level two, level three. No, wait. So that either level two or level three. I think it's level two. Um, a level two, uh, twelve week cybersecurity course. This one is based in Newcastle, which means I'm gonna have to go to Newcastle for twelve weeks. Twelve fucking weeks in Newcastle. So you're gonna see a backdrop change here soon. I'm not sure when. I'm working out the logistics and the dates, and also trying to find a place to live for those twelve weeks. Um, because this one isn't a uh, online school only, I have to be in person for certain tests and exams because this is um, uh, uh, the, the course would lead on to employers from you know, Her Majesty's government, um, even the private sector, and these people do not fuck around. These people are legit, and so hopefully this will mean that I will get uh, a work visa. Or something along that ilk that will allow me to hop skiddy skibbity jump back stateside, which will make me a very, very, very happy cobra. Uh, so those are some of my updates that's been going on with me. Um, anyway, enough of me prattling on. How are you? Leave leave leave, leave a little something something in the comments for the algorithms. You know, I mean that. How have you been? Are you good? Are you drinking a lot of water? Are you hydrating? Are you staying good? Speaking of, I've got to tell a friend something real quick. And I'm going to do it live. Good afternoon, sweetheart. Don't forget to hydrate. There we go. And I've got to send another message like that to a friend. Morning, you corny sod. Don't forget to hydrate and chin up. The world is yours. A little motivational voice message I leave for two of my friends. They One of them has been going through a really bad breakup. Um, poor bastard. And so um, I just leave those sort of messages to cheer him up. You know, he's a good guy. Good guy. Name's Sebastian. Good guy. Good guy. And yes, I have been working out. Um, someone mentioned in one of my videos. And so, yeah, I hope your day's going good. I hope the weather's nice for you. It's been pissing down with rain here. I couldn't even see the eclipse because it's literally been raining non-stop because of apparently freak weather in Texas or some shit like that. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Leave me alone. But anyway, um, yeah, I hope, your, uh, I hope your day's been better. Uh, my days are on the way and uh you know don't focus on the tragedy focus on how you're going to heal from it and i know that sounds corny i do i know that sounds absolutely fucking corny as shit so corny even even corn berserkers are like oh we like this guy <laughs> yeah I, I i get that it does sound corny but it doesn't when you say it out loud so, say it out loud. Seriously, say it out loud to yourself. Say it out loud. Okay? Say it out loud. Alright? So. <sighs> My coffee's almost done, sadly. Mm. As I was saying, yes, I've been going to the gym, been working out. Mostly doing upper body. My biceps are starting to get some definition back. My traps. Oh, yeah, baby. My traps are back. I've been doing a lot of back work as well to help with posture. Um, so I've been doing that because where I sit in the chair for, for cybersecurity work and, and whatnot. So school's being a pain in the ass. I'm now single and not ready to mingle just yet. Um, what happened between me and my ex just proves to me I am just not ready to, to start dating someone on a serious level. Um... So, that's what it is. Uh, I'm going to try out the beard. I'm not sure if I want to keep it or not. So, leave a comment in the comment section whether or not I should keep it. I mean, it's just facial hair. It will grow back. But, 
I'm not sure if I should keep it. And uh, yeah, I've tried a whole bunch of different oils and creams and shit like that to try and get my beard to grow and it just doesn't want to seem to grow past this scraggly stage. I mean, I've tried conditioners, oils, you fucking name it. I've tried it all. I just want to grow the damn thing. You know, not not, not, not like fucking ZZ Top. I just want something like to about here, you know? Like Carl Drago from uh, uh, Game of Thrones. You know, kind of thing. That's all I want. Just a Carl Drago beard. Yeah. I know, I'm asking too much. Also, I've got to sort my hair out. It's fucking, oh, it's a mess an absolute mess oh and someone mentioned to me in discord about adding a buy me a coffee link which i thought was a bit you know apropos i'm like you know what that's not a bad idea so i will sort out a buy me a coffee link for the next series of videos uh, when i do manage to get them up again i do apologize but see this is why because it's a bit an erratic time getting videos up this is why i don't have something like patreon or anything like that is because excuse me it's because my work life, gym life, things like that, my social life is just really pulling me in different places right this second. I still try to upload something for you guys because you guys are loyal and I love you all. All 500 plus subscribers of you guys. And you know what? I don't care about numbers. I don't care if that turns in. My, my goal originally this year was to get to at least a thousand subscribers. That was my goal. That was my goal. And it was a lofty goal. But... Uh, with my work and social life and everything else getting in the way, I can't exactly... I've got videos to go. I've got video. I mean, I've, I still haven't done the airbrush test of the new modeling paints I picked up last month. Um, let alone finished off my Death Guard army. I had to take a break because painting green was like really freezing, freezing, freezing in my brain. Um, so I started painting my uh, Abaddon on the Despoiler. He's not even finished. He's literally sitting on my bench going, Bitch! Highlight me! You know, literally, he's just, he hasn't even been touched yet. So, there's that. Um, I'm currently in the middle of working on an Eldar... Um, re not really a Titan, but an Eldar Knight. An Eldari Knight. Um, just because I want to start practicing painting more more glarishly beautiful colours before I get down to starting my own uh, Empress Children army. Yes, I will be getting Fulgrim. Uh, no, it won't be 30k. Mine will be based on the 40k universe, but I will be using 30k miniatures. So I'll be buying a lot of 30k stuff and just swapping out the shoulder pads and whatnot and like upgrading their looks, things of that nature. But I will be painting them in very garishingly cute, lovely pinks and purples and pastels because, well, Slanesh. And I will also be getting a few demonettes and whatnot and... Uh, I'll be working on glazing. That's the thing I'm, I really am not that skilled in is, is glazing. And so I want to practice glazing. And how you how do you practice glazing? Demonets of Slanish. Uh, everyone's like, we'll just get contrast paints. Yes, 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 that's cheating. I want to learn a skill. I don't want to cheat to learn that skill. I actually want to learn the skill, the fundamentals of it, and then find an easier way to do it. So, like I said, but it is what it is. Anyway, I've been prattling on for well, far too fucking long. Coffee's done. Which means the video's done. So until then, keep yourself fine, keep your enemies dying. Capricorn Commander is out. And I'll see you guys in the next video.